Hey Libra, welcome to your uh, monthly reading <laughs> for February 2021. I almost said weekly. <laughs> um, this is going to be a general reading. Uh, welcome to Tenacious Soul. My name is Johanna. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into some general messages. So um, they are general, so they're not going to resonate with everyone. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can also always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Um, as well, I also posted a pick a card reading uh for february as well so i will link that down below and i also did a timeless singles love pick a card as well so you can check that out too um yeah let's see where we go for you libra we're seeing what's coming up for february 2021 make sure you guys like and subscribe if you enjoy these messages and you would like to see more all right so let's see libra february 2021 what do we have okay <laughs> libra what do we have for libra All right, your situation, we have the Five of Swords. What is crossing this is the Ace of Pentacles. Um, your subconscious energy, we have the Queen of Cups. Your recent past, the Two of Pentacles. Um, your, what's on your mind is the High Priestess. Your future energies, we have the King of Wands. You are the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, what's around you that you may not see is the Ten of Swords. The Hopes and Fears, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the King of Swords as the outcome. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so relationship-wise, there could be somebody coming towards you here. I feel like you possibly are single. Uh, maybe this King of Wands here that's in the near future. I do see an offer coming in towards you with this Ace of Pentacles as the current energy. I do see you also being very intuitive right now with that High Priestess what's up for what's on your mind. Also, some of you are kind of keeping things to yourself as well. I'm going to grab an Angels and Ancestors Oracle for you here. What does Libra need? What does Libra need? We have Guardian Angel, you are not alone. Uh, for some of you, feathers may be uh, a sign that you see, white feathers. We have Hermit, Retreat and Recharge. It's funny, a lot of people I feel are getting that energy, whether the Hermit actually shows up or they get this one. Okay, so current situation is Five of Swords crossed by the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a new opportunity that I feel like is just kind of knocking on your door here. Um, I feel like you could be in the midst of leaving something behind with that five of swords or knowing that this environment that you're in is not good for you. And I almost feel like this ace of pentacles comes in kind of almost like perfect timing. Um, the bottom, um, subconscious energy, we have the queen of cups. Um, so I feel like a lot of you are trying to kind of get in touch with your emotions. There's a lot of like watery energy here with your intuition so a lot of you are very in tune with your intuition right now subconsciously and consciously uh which is awesome because i feel like it's allowing a lot of good things to come into your life a lot of clarity as well especially with that king of swords and the outcome the recent past you could have been debating on something or juggling a lot of things in your life um or unsure of what direction to go in something in that regard uh, like I said, the High Priestess is what's on your mind, and so I feel like you're very intuitive, but I also feel like you're keeping a lot of things in towards yourself. You're not necessarily ex uh, expressing, um, you may feel very alone right now as well, or you, you may be isolating yourself, especially with the Hermit and the Guardian Angel saying you're not alone. Um, I feel like you're very much connected to your spirit, your spirit guides, or your, or your um, kind of that higher aspect of yourself. Um, in your future energies we have the king of wands so this could be a person coming in towards you definitely could be a fire sign 
or somebody who is embodying that. So I feel like they are coming in. I almost wonder if they're the ones offering this Ace of Pentacles as well. Um, but we'll see. Uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles here as you. So you're very much... Um, Whatever this Ace of Pentacles is, you're very much nurturing it. You're very much holding on to it. Again, you might not be telling people about it, uh, but I do see you very much nurturing it. You're very, in, very much in your feminine energy, very much. Um, there is something around you that's ending though. Something that's like a little bit challenging that you may not see. Now this could be people around you going through this as well. We'll kind of, again, we're gonna clarify. It, but I, I almost feel a tie to that Five of Swords energy. Um, your hopes and fears, we have the Wheel of Fortune. I kind of feel like there's a part of you that's just like, okay, everything will happen when it's supposed to happen. I'm going to trust in the universe. I'm in tune with the universe. I'm going to manifest and do everything I can in order for to get this wheel to turn. Now, on the other side of that, um, there also, I feel, is a fear that it's not going to come in, right? So there's a fear that, well, what if it doesn't come in or when is it coming in? There's like that like anxiety. You also very much could be dealing with a fire sign, a Sag, specifically. Um, King of Swords is in the outcome. So this is like somebody speaking their truth, somebody very being very direct, um, a very clear, calculated outcome. So again, we're going to clarify to kind of see what that is. Let's start with this Five of Swords. What is this Five of Swords in this situation for Libra? We have the Ten of Wands. So there is something I feel you're learning about a situation because we do have the Hierophant here. I feel like you're learning something about your current situation. Uh, and I feel like you're almost... Like you're over it. It's coming to an end. I feel like with that Ten of Wands, it's been a long time coming. Um, and you're kind of looking back at the past and kind of seeing how you've changed and how you've evolved and this situation has not. Um, so I feel like you're moving beyond that. What is this Ace of Pentacles here for what's crossing this situation for Libra this month? What is this Ace of Pentacles? Ace of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. The Sun. Let me get one more card here. What is this Ace of Pentacles? One more card, please. many less cards please okay so we have the six of cups the sun the six of swords clarifying that ace of pentacles and the king of cups is at the bottom I feel like you're very much going to enjoy, you have a lot of love for whatever this opportunity is. It could be a person offering you something. It could be a King of Cups offering you something. Um, for some of you, it could be something from your past, but others of you, because the Six of Cups is right beside the sun, I almost just see it as something that brings you a lot of joy. Others of you, it can be somebody that you knew from childhood. Um, but it's like, it's something that you enjoy doing. It makes you feel really good. And with the Six of Swords, I see you moving towards it. You may have to travel towards this opportunity or this person. Like there may be some distance between the two of you as well. So clarify this Queen of Cups in the subconscious energy here for Libra. What is this Queen of Cups?
way too many cards. Less cards, please, for this Queen of Cups. Four of Swords and the Chariot. The Five of Swords is at the bottom. So some of you are kind of like recuperating from the situation before you move forward. So it's like that retreat and recharge. Um, subconsciously, you're kind of wanting to remove yourself from this situation so that you can have a more successful outcome. You're not really wanting to give to this situation that is the current situation for you, this Five of Swords energy. You guys aren't wanting to um, put your time and energy into that. I feel like it's very exhausting for you and you're just wanting to move past it, whatever that that situation is for you. What is this two of pentacles in the recent past here? We have the moon with the queen of swords. Yeah, some of you are very much unsure. Some of you are also needing to find some balance. Um, I feel like there was possibly some fears that were in your past that you became very aware of that you needed to kind of resolve and fix. What is this? Yeah, we have the four of cups, so maybe not knowing what to do about a situation or how to take action towards a situation or whether you should even take action. So you were, you were really trying to think very deeply about how do I feel? Again, that intuition is coming up. You're very much trusting your intuition and trying to figure out, okay, what do I, what do I want to do? What is this high priestess energy? We have the three of cups. Judgment. We have one more card here for the high priestess. lovers okay so some of you are thinking a lot about a reconciliation with a person I see you being a little bit hesitant towards this person with this nine of wands here at the bottom of the deck and I think what it is is like there has been an offer made okay possibly somebody from your past, a reconciliation of some sort, okay? Uh, and I feel like you're kind of using, you're trying to use your logic and your intuition to make the right decision. It's very much on your mind and you're kind of hesitant to move forward with this person. Now, what is this King of Wands? Because this King of Wands is in your near future here. So clarify this King of Wands in the near future here for Libra. King of Wands. Eight of Swords, Strength. Nine of Wands. So this King of Wands is overcoming some internal struggles, right? Kind of like, kind of trying to like tame their mind a little bit. I feel like they've been overthinking and analyzing things a lot. Um, they're not sure if they, again, it's like, they kind of want to take action towards you or they, they have, let me see. What is this King of Wands? Tell me more about this King of Wands here. me more about this king of wands in the near future for libra so the three of swords in reverse this person is trying to get over heartbreak they're very much trying to work through that energy And they're trying to balance themselves out. It definitely could be a Sag or a Leo. 
I feel like they've kind of like rectified this aspect of themselves. Um, and I think that that's like they're wanting to come forward. Um, I think you've been thinking about this too. So if, you, if this person hasn't made a move towards you, I feel like they are going to be. I feel like there's distance between you and this person, but there is an offer on the table or there's going to be an offer on the table. You both are kind of in separation, I feel right now, but you're both thinking about this, this situation. And I do feel like this person wants to come towards you um, in a more balanced and structured way. What is this Queen of Pentacles here for Libra? We have the Eight of Pentacles. So you could be very much focused on your work, but you're also kind of watching this other person. Um, like I said, I feel like you're both kind of looking at each other or watching each other. thinking about this connection even though you're both doing your own thing what is this ten of swords here in the energy surrounding you ten of swords in the energy surrounding libra what is this we have the devil The High Priestess and the Page of Cups. Okay. Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So there's a person in your energy, and I feel like it's this I feel like it's this King of Um Wands here. This King of Wands who's going to be coming forward, and I feel like what's ending around you is um the lies and the secrets and the toxic traits that have gone along with a connection and if this is a person from the past then um i feel like they're wanting to apologize for any grief that, that they've caused you um i feel like they're going to be coming in with an offer or they're wanting to whatever this page of cups is i feel like they're wanting to offer you something different now you guys we do have the two of swords down here so some someone's still resisting this or someone's not seeing um you might not see this coming as well because it is in that energy um like in the energy around you that you might not know about i feel like you do know because we have the high priestess here in your energy and it's also here I feel like you know that this person's around, but they also know that things need to change and end and, and the way that they were. Like, th the way things used to be, things need to be done with that. And, like, everything needs to be out, up, out on the table for reevaluation here. What is this Wheel of Fortune and the Hopes and Fears? Ace of Swords, Five of Cups, the Tower. Hermit at the bottom of the deck. So your fear is a little bit of like manifesting this and having this this truth come out, something come out. Um, or like even having success with something and it and it disappearing, it crumbling, it falling apart, like it has in the past with that five of cups. It's like you want this. You want what's meant for you, essentially, which why wouldn't you? You want destiny. You want this help. You want this universe. The universe is trying to help you out here. And you know that. But there's a fear also that like, well, what if they give it back to me and it doesn't work out? Like, what if they give me this situation and it doesn't work out again? And I feel like that's why you're kind of just sitting back with that hermit energy. You're not really wanting to engage i don't think you're approaching this person if anything this person's approaching you but you're both wanting reconciliation i feel this person's trying to heal themselves before they come forward again what is this king of swords clarify this king of swords for libra and the outcome 
We have the Three of Pentacles. So they definitely want to work on things with you. Yeah, with the Queen of Cups again at the bottom when I looked at, for it there. Um, three of Wands. We have the Temperance and the Hanged Man. So this person wants to start taking a look at things from a different perspective. They want to heal this connection. They want to work on things with you. And I feel like they're very confident in that. They, they very much, I think you're both kind of on the same page when it comes to if this is going to work, this is what we need to do. If we're going to heal this connection and we're going to move forward, this is what needs to happen. And there needs to be very clear, direct communication, which I feel like there will be. Um, we have the Three of Wands here with the Knight of Cups knight of pentacles you guys have been waiting a while for this person to come in towards you um definitely have been waiting a while for that um and again like i don't know what this situation is that you walked away from but you're moving to a new place whatever it is like with that ace of pentacles crossing you that's what's coming in for you or trying to come into you. Um, and I, it almost could be too that the conflict um, is preventing this, right? The situation of there being conflict because this person's needing to heal from this. Um, this other person I feel like is healing their heart, um, healing kind of their, their behaviors. It doesn't even necessarily mean they're healing from your connection that you guys had. It can be past connections. It could be connections with family. It could be so many things, right? Okay. So what is the message? Can I get one card for Libra from the Sacred Creators deck? What do they need to know for February regarding this spread? What message does Libra need to know? What message? for Libra. Message for Libra. Okay. So we have bravely market your magic. And it was in reverse, it's number 39. So it was in reverse. I'm going to read it from the book. Okay. So in reverse, you get the self-care message. So it says, hiding who you really are, copying someone else instead of sharing your own essence, fear of failure, imposter syndrome. So I feel like the kind of that feel, fear of failure in this situation is kind of what's holding you back a little bit. Like you want this situation to work, but you're also afraid that it won't work. So... Um, now, some of these cards are a little bit related to business, but I do want to kind of, um, regardless, some of you, this could be um, related to that, but um, you may need this message, I guess, in another aspect of your life, but I'll relate it back to love after we're done. So it says, what biz or life project are you working on that you feel compelled to courageously cast out into the world? Spiritual misfits, philosopher, poets, soul pr solopreneurs, or sorry, soulpreneurs and creative catalysts bravely market your magic. It is your gold and as gold, it is fascinating and compelling and people can't stop looking at it when it's shining from the heart. Sorry, I got an itchy nose. Uh, when you draw back the curtains and expose the true colors of your soul, it's blindingly brilliant and beautiful. Make no mistake, someone out there is looking for what you're offering and they will be thrilled to find you when you are honestly sharing your unique magic unveil your weird you're wonderful and you're quirky it's normal for it to take a few years to find your way and to build your dream so don't be hard on yourself if normal happens have patience and faith even when it feels vulnerable share yourself honestly and always put your soul into your message not sure how to share your magic your unique essence and humanness is the right place to start so um some things you can, can can consider. So many creators start their journey from a place of total passion and authenticity and then slowly move their brand or their vision of what's possible towards something they believe or to be 
uh, towards something they believe to be more of a sure shot. Are you playing it too safe when you put yourself out there? What is your magic? What have you been hiding? And what is missing in the way you express yourself online or in person? So there's something about being authentic to yourself, right? Being in that higher power, being in that higher um, vibration of yourself and not being um, like being unforgiving, right? And in, in being in that way. When I was reading the aspect of it's normal for it to take a few years to find your way, what came into my head was that there, this could have been a relationship that you had a few years ago and now it's kind of coming back around um, and I think that it's like, I feel like almost this person could have been a person who was like the one that got away, possibly for both of you, you both could feel this way. And it's interesting too, where it talks about being in your authentic self, being who you really are, the weird parts of you, that sort of thing. Cause that's very Aquarian energy, um, which obviously we're in Aquarius season. So I think it's like be embracing that aspect of yourself, being who you truly are not being afraid to be who you really are and I think that that's what this person maybe loves about you the most right um, but don't be afraid to um, express how you really feel about this situation and don't settle for anything less than you want is also what I got from that message so if you want things to act a certain way or to go a certain way or you're like listen this is what I accept now in relationships I don't accept anything less you just need to communicate that and you need to be unapologetically um, you in that situation to say this is what I deserve and this is what I what I expect from the situation and if that person can't give that to you then um, I mean I guess they'll just be on their way right so I do feel like this person has genuine intentions I don't really feel like they're here to hurt you I feel like they're kind of getting over their own stuff um, and for some of you this could be a brand new person that they just have their own stuff and you have your stuff um, I feel like regardless, there's a very strong connection to this person, like you've known them before, so they could be from like a past life. Um, and I just feel like they're going to make you very happy, but there's, there's, there's a little bit of time before this person comes in, but there is a need to speak your truth in that outcome. So that is what I have for you, Libra. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful February and make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> um, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.